Harvard and NASA have just confirmed it. 3i slash A T L A S isn't just a comet. It's steering, pulsing, and changing course like a spacecraft. With metallic radar echoes, precision gas thrusts, and a potential path toward Mars, this interstellar object may be the first real evidence of alien technology. This changes everything. The arrival of something strange. On July 1st, astronomers using the Atlas Sky Survey flagged an object that, at first, looked like just another passing comet. It was named 3i slash A T L A S, the third recorded object to enter our solar system from interstellar space. But this wasn't any ordinary comet. It was traveling at nearly 87 kilometers per second, a speed no natural body from deep space has ever shown. Even more unusual, it wasn't just fast, it was precise. The object's trajectory aligned eerily well with the inner planets of our solar system. Most comets wander in erratic paths shaped by gravity alone, but 3i slash A T L A S appeared to be gliding with intent. Initially, astronomers expected a harmless flyby near Mars, no big deal. But as more observatories began tracking it, they noticed something strange. The object was adjusting its course. It wasn't being pulled by Mars or the Sun, it was responding as if it had some form of control. And that's when things got serious. A comet doesn't steer itself. It doesn't emit pristine pulses of gas every 17 minutes. But this one did. Objects from deep space aren't supposed to behave like this, said one NASA researcher. This isn't nature following gravity. This is guidance. And this guidance was taking it closer and closer to something else, Mars. Data that changed everything. Once the early tracking data raised alarms, two major research groups stepped in, Harvard's AV Loeb and a team at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. They ran independent calculations. What they found changed everything. The orbit of 3i slash A T L A S wasn't just off. It was getting tighter, as if something was actively steering it inward. Most comets experience small gravitational nudges from planets or the sun. But this object was doing more than drifting. It was adjusting its path with microscopic precision, lining itself up with Mars's orbit. In a natural world, that doesn't happen. By mid-September, both teams reached a chilling conclusion. 3i slash A T L A S might not just pass by Mars, it could hit it. The predicted closest approach is now just 1.95 million kilometers. In space terms, that's nothing. It's so close that even a tiny push, just 10 kilometers per second, could shift its path enough for a direct impact. And what's causing that push? According to Loeb, it's not sunlight or random outgassing. It's controlled thrust, mini explosions of CO2 gas that fire off in exact directions at precise intervals. This behavior is not random venting, it's navigation. When you see a rock behaving like a drone, Loeb said, you stop calling it a rock. That's why many now believe we're not dealing with a comet at all but something much more advanced, something with a mission, a comet that acts like it's alive. As 3i slash A T L A S approached the sun, astronomers expected it to behave like any other icy object, start shedding gas and dust chaotically due to solar heating. But instead of random outbursts, it did something far more unsettling. The gas plumes from this object were timed. Every 17 minutes, it released controlled pulses of CO2. And these weren't just venting straight into space. They were firing in specific directions. Each pulse gently altered the object's trajectory, nudging it closer to the orbital path of Mars. This wasn't random behavior. It looked like an engine. Normal comets eject gases when sunlight heats their icy surfaces. But those jets are unpredictable. They spew in every direction and change with rotation or surface melting. In contrast, 3i slash A T L A S's emissions were clock-like, clean, and consistent. The plumes resembled attitude thrusters, the kind you see on spacecraft used to steer in orbit. It was as if the comet was adjusting itself, preparing for something. Maybe a close approach, maybe a descent. What raised further eyebrows was the nature of the outgassing. Instruments detected that the CO2 emissions weren't steady. They were modulated, sometimes stronger, sometimes weaker as if the object was mixing fuel to optimize trajectory. What Harvard physicist Avi Loeb calls thrust mix modulation. That's not a concept found in comet science. 
It's a concept found in rocketry. Even more puzzling, the object didn't slow down near the sun like most comets. Instead, it began to accelerate slightly. At such high speeds, nearly 87 kilometers per second, any course change requires massive energy. But 3i-A, T-L-A-S, was managing those shifts using tiny, steady bursts of gas. That implies deliberate control. Spectroscopy from observatories like Gemini South revealed another strange detail. The emissions didn't match anything expected from natural sublimation. Instead of a chaotic mix, it produced tight jets, focused and directed like a propulsion system. This gave more weight to the growing idea that the object was not inert, not drifting, but actively navigating. This comet is acting like it's alive, said one planetary scientist. It's steering, adjusting, planning. And all that steering seems to point toward one thing, Mars. The Mars collision threat. By late August, the data was clear. 3i-ATLAS was not on a random flyby. It was headed for a near miss of Mars. But the word miss might be misleading. The current projected path brings it within 1.95 million kilometers of the planet. That might sound like a lot, but in cosmic terms, it's a hair's breadth, and that distance is shrinking. The object is under constant gravitational influence from the Sun, Mars, and even Jupiter, but those tugs aren't enough to explain its changing trajectory. The controlled pulses from its tail are actively guiding it. If just one of those pulses is slightly stronger, or lasts a few seconds longer, the trajectory could shift. At its current mass, estimated around 10 billion tons, even a small push could turn a near pass into a direct hit. The most alarming part is how little force is needed to make that happen. A velocity change of just 10 kilometers per second could push 3i slash a t l a s into a collision course. That's about the same change a rocket makes during orbital insertion. And according to current data, those kinds of course shifts are already occurring in micro increments, hidden in the pulse timing. What would happen if it hit? The energy released would be devastating. Scientists estimate the impact would unleash over 2 million megatons of energy, thousands of times more than the most powerful nuclear weapon ever detonated. The crater could be over 60 kilometers wide, ejecting material into Mars's atmosphere and orbit. Some of that debris could even escape Mars entirely, scattering across the solar system. And it's not just about the physical impact. Mars is currently home to multiple critical missions. Rovers like Perseverance, orbiters like MRO, and communication relays could all be wiped out in an instant. Decades of scientific progress, data collection, and exploration could vanish. Some scientists have quietly suggested that if the object is intelligent or engineered, the collision might not be an accident at all but a delivery or deployment event. If it hits Mars, Loeb warned, it won't just change that planet. It will change everything we think we know about the universe. And with the final course corrections window between September 19th and 30th, we may not have long to find out. If it hits Mars, what happens? If 3i slash A T L A S were to collide with Mars, the consequences would be catastrophic both scientifically and symbolically. The object is estimated to have a mass of roughly 10 billion tons and a core potentially composed of metallic elements, possibly nickel-rich. With its current velocity of nearly 87 kilometers per second, an impact would release energy equivalent to 2 million megatons of TNT. That's not a theoretical number. It's a real, calculable consequence that would dwarf any explosion humanity has ever witnessed. The resulting crater would likely span 60 kilometers wide and reach a depth of over 5 kilometers, ejecting massive amounts of debris into the Martian atmosphere and potentially into Mars orbit. Given the thin Martian atmosphere, much of this material would escape into space, posing long-term risks to satellites, orbiters, and even future crewed missions. The debris field could persist for years, forming a hazardous shell around the planet. Mars is currently the most explored body in our solar system, aside from the Moon. Multiple spacecraft, including Perseverance, Curiosity, Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, and Mars Express, are all in operation. A direct impact or high-velocity debris could destroy or disable any one of them. Communications relays would go down. Mars weather and climate monitoring would be crippled. 
the search for past or present life, years in the making, would be put on indefinite hold. Then there's the possibility that 3i slash ATLAS is not just a rock. If the object contains synthetic or engineered materials, as some spectroscopic anomalies suggest, the impact could release biological agents, nanostructures, or self-replicating technology. This isn't science fiction speculation. It's a real concern when dealing with an object behaving as if it's under control. If it's a probe or vessel, it could be carrying more than just mass. It could be carrying intent. The implications aren't just geological, they're existential, one senior planetary defense analyst reportedly said. Mars is also a candidate for human settlement. An impact event would not only contaminate the surface, but potentially alter the Martian atmosphere, affect radiation levels, or stir up dust storms on a global scale. It would set back colonization plans by decades. This is why the weeks between September 19th and 30th are critical. Every trajectory simulation hinges on the object's behavior during that window. Any deviation, any last-minute acceleration or plume event could convert a flyby into an impact scenario. And if that happens, it wouldn't just affect Mars. It would send a shockwave through every scientific, governmental, and military institution on Earth. The Alien Hypothesis Avi Loeb's Claim Harvard astrophysicist Dizimbius Avi Loeb has proposed the most radical interpretation of 3i slash ATLAS, that it's not a natural object, but a technological probe built by an advanced civilization. This theory isn't just rooted in imagination. It's based on multiple observational anomalies that have no solid natural explanation. First, the object is steering itself. The precise 17-minute gas pulses are too regular, too directional, to be caused by random solar heating. They mimic the kind of micro-thrust systems found on modern spacecraft. Loeb and his student Adam Hibbard published an analysis suggesting the outgassing is functioning like reaction control thrusters used by spacecraft to change orientation or direction. These aren't just venting events. They are thrust maneuvers, timed and modulated to maintain a specific trajectory. Their paper, still under peer review, lays out a framework for what they call non-gravitational propulsion via sublimated exhaust, something never before observed in a known natural object. Adding to the mystery, radar imaging has returned metallic echoes, not soft ice signatures. The core appears to reflect radar in a way consistent with dense metal alloys, possibly ones that do not occur naturally in space. Some speculate it might even contain internal power generation, perhaps nuclear or something more exotic, given its ability to change course without external force. Loeb also points out the parallel with Oumuamua, the first interstellar object discovered in 2017, which also exhibited strange non-gravitational motion. But 3i slash ATLAS behaves even more dramatically. If Oumuamua was a passive sail, 3i slash ATLAS is a guided missile and it might not be alone. His team has even proposed that the object may be on autopilot, programmed long ago to navigate planetary systems, gather data, or deploy instruments. Its approach toward Mars, if deliberate, could indicate it's here to deliver a payload, perhaps to deposit materials or even self-replicating machines beneath the Martian crust. If this is an alien probe, Loeb said in a recent interview, we may be witnessing an active mission not just a relic drifting through space. While the theory remains controversial, the data doesn't fit the profile of a passive comet. Its speed, steering, material composition, and timing all point to something engineered, not natural. The scientific community is watching, quietly, as more data comes in. If Loeb is right, 3i slash ATLAS may be the most important object ever detected. Not a visitor by chance, but a probe with a purpose. NASA's quiet panic. While the public stays calm, space agencies are quietly mobilizing. NASA has redirected the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter to monitor 3i slash ATLAS's trajectory. More telling, the Goldstone Deep Space Network is bouncing radar off the object. And the echoes are metallic, not icy. This suggests a solid structured body possibly with unnatural materials. Other agencies, including ESA, 
Roscosmos, JAXA, and CNSA have held private briefings. None have released statements. Military groups have activated planetary defense protocols normally used for asteroid threats. Simulation drills and data reviews point to heightened concern. When everyone stops talking, that's when you know something's up, said a retired NASA planner. The silence and sudden shifts in focus show agencies are taking this seriously. With the object accelerating and changing course, the opportunity for public disclosure is shrinking fast. Clues in the tail, a message in the exhaust. 3i slash ATLAS's tail isn't just gas, it's a message. Spectroscopy shows it splits into three beams, pulsing every 17 minutes, all perfectly aligned with Mars' orbit. This isn't random, it looks like controlled propulsion. Unlike natural comet tails, this one is tight, steady, and glows green during each thrust. High energy signatures like ionized nickel suggest it's not melting ice. It's engineered plasma exhaust. It's part of the message, said a Gemini South researcher. Some believe the tail serves as propulsion and signal, guiding the object or communicating its path. As it nears Mars, the tail grows clearer, proof this isn't drifting, it's aiming. Triangular formation in Mars orbit. While attention remains on 3i slash ATLAS, the Mars Express orbiter captured something startling, three reflective objects in a perfect triangle above Mars. Initially dismissed as sensor glitches, they appeared in the same position across three orbits, which is nearly impossible by chance. No known satellites or debris match the coordinates, raising the possibility these are intentionally placed probes. Harvard's AV Loeb suggests they may have been deployed by 3E slash ATLAS. If confirmed, this would imply it's not alone, but part of a coordinated system. He's called for surface scans of Mars to search for debris matching the object's spectroscopic profile, possibly fragments from prior passes. This formation looks like positioning, like orbital choreography, Loeb said. NASA has not commented, but amateur astronomers have also seen glints near Mars. Whether these are new or long dormant, they fit an emerging pattern. 3i slash ATLAS may be just one part of a larger operation, already in motion above our neighboring planet. The bigger question, who sent it and why? 3i slash ATLAAS is navigating with intent. It pulses, it steers, and now, possibly, it deploys. That challenges any natural explanation. The question now is, who sent it? One theory suggests it's a reconnaissance probe gathering planetary data. Another sees it as part of a biological seeding mission or a data collection system refreshing long-range infrastructure. But the most unsettling idea is strategic, that it's here to observe humanity. This may not be a message, a S-E-T-I researcher warned. It could be an inspection. After decades of Earth broadcasting its presence, a reply might have arrived, not in words, but in machines. With space agencies silent and the object drawing closer to Mars, the truth is about to unfold. Is this cosmic coincidence or first contact in motion? If 3i slash ATLAS is artificial, we're witnessing something historic, not a comet, but a craft. Its movements, emissions, and behavior defy natural explanation. As it closes in on Mars, the truth is unfolding in real time. Is this surveillance, contact, or something else? One thing is clear, we're not alone anymore.